Welcome back, folks. Now let's learn about base conversion, OK? So you've seen how to move binary and hex to decimal. How do you move decimal to binary? And this involves your first algorithm. Ooh, I'm getting chills. OK, this is exciting. Here we go. All right. So 13 to binary, OK? 13 to binary. By the way, this was the example I did in the last video, 13 to binary, OK? The answer should be, hopefully, 1101. OK, let's, let's see if it works out this way. So you start with all the columns. OK, you start with the columns. Base to the 0. Here, here it's 2 to the 0, which is 1, the 1's column. Then it's base to the 1, which is the 2's column. Base to the 2, the 4's column. Base to the 3, the 8's column. And you keep going, OK, for how many digits you have. OK, so far, so good. Now, you start by saying, I got 13. And here's the, here's the algorithm right here. It says, left to right, However many columns you start with. You can start really out here. You can start at the 256 columns, 1024 columns. You can do that if you wanted to. But it, most of those would be zero, like leading zeros. That's totally fine. They'll go away at the end. The first question you ask is, is the column smaller than or equal to my number at hand? Which right now in my hand is a 13. Okay, I made a little PowerPoint animation. hope this works out. Okay, Here we go. If yes, you put however many of that column fit into the N, like, oh, this, the car can hold 100, but this thing only holds, I don't know, 11. So 11 of these cartons in there, I could put nine cartons of 11, and now that's 99, I'd have one left. Get that? That's the space you'd have if you were putting cartons that could hold, right? So that's how it works. Here's the space, 13. How many eights can I fit in my 13? And you write that in that slot. If you can't write any, if it's zero, you put a zero there, and you keep going. Okay, so let's try it. How many eights fit in 13? One. one. So what we do, watch this. Here's your eight, there's your one. And now you say, after I put the eight, what's my space left over in my car? Five, Five right? So now, let's do it again. Now we repeat. This is the algorithm. You're doing your first algorithm live. Here we go. Compare four to five. How many fours fit in five? One. one. Put a one there. You put the four and the five, you put one of them in there, leaving one. And now who's left? Two. How many twos fit in the one space? Zero. zero. Your first zero. Bink, go on. How many ones fit in that space? One. I put a one there. You cross it off, it's zero, and you're done. And you stop when you're zero. Isn't that cool? OK? It's going to be harder when you do hex. Because it's not just going to be a 1 or a 0. It's going to be how many fit in there. It'd be a little harder. OK? But do you think we got that for that one? All right. So 13 is 1, 101, just like 1, 101 to 13. Now you can go backwards. But it's a little bit more complicated as you walk left to right. By the way, in this course, we're going to ask you to actually write this code into Snap. Given any decimal number, make the binary representation, and vice versa. And it's a really fun problem. We're going to ask you that together. So here we go. Decimal to hex. Oh, man. OK? 165, the number we had last time. The answer is A5, by the way. OK, let's try it. Here we go. Ready? Same algorithm. Same algorithm. It works for all bases. All right. My columns are, by the way, a little bigger. 16 to the 0, 1's. 16 to the 1, my 16's column. 16 to the 2, my 256 column. 16 to the 3, my 4096 column. OK, so we start. Four digits of hex. How many? 4096 is fit in 165. Zero. Goose egg. Zero. How many 256s fit in 165? Zero. Zero. How many 16s fit in 165? Ten. ten. So we write A. Right? We don't write the 10, we write the A. We write the single character. It's a single character always in every column for every base. What's left? Once you fit 16 10s in there, what? What's left? Five. I wasn't thinking this. Thing. OK. How many ones fit in five? Five. And the answer is A5, just like we saw before. You see how I went back and forth to the same number you were experimenting with? Isn't that cool? All right. So I now showed you how to move from decimal to hex. OK? And there's your zero at the end. Now, stay with me. In general, converting from binary to hex, Wow, that's really hard. Not, see, I did the Wayne's word, not. See, it's, 
It's not. It's like the easiest thing ever. Binary to hex. They're both ba a base 2 power. There's no conversion. So watch this. If I give you, but here's the key is, you have to make, the only thing that's a little tricky, going from binary to hex, you have to pad it so you always have a multiple of four number of binary digits. You pad it with zeros. Like, do you agree that the number 3271 is the same as 00 3271? Do you agree? Like on your mileage odometer, right? Same thing. So the idea here is you just pad the binary, guys, until you have a multiple of four. Four, eight, 12, OK? And now you pad it. Now you just look up the table. There's the table. Let's do it. 11110. Oh. OK, ooh, that's hard. Four ones and a zero. Now, if you do it wrong and don't pad it, you might go, OK, well, 1111 is F. And then a zero is only one bit, but let's call it so it's F0. That would be wrong. You have to pad it together. And once you pad it, you get 0, what do we get? 0, 0, 0, 1. So look that up on the table. What's 0, 0, 0, 1 in uh, hex? 1. OK, what's the next lever? 1, 1, 1, 0. What's that in hex? Look at the table. What's that? E. And the answer is 1E. OK, it's not F0, it's 1E. So make sure you always pat it left before you do the conversion. And on the flip side, doing the hex to binary is even easier. For example, 1E, you literally just look up the 1, look at the E, and go, here's 8 characters. Here's 8 bits. And then you're going to notice that there's like some leading zeros. Those just go away. And if you wrote them in, it's not the wrong answer. Right? If you say, how much money did you make this year? I made 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3271. That's still a correct answer. It's just, why did you say the zeros? So if you come up with 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, that's the same as saying 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay? So in summary, I've shown you how to convert from decimal to binary, from decimal to hex, and from binary to hex. Now, of all those three things, there's a triangle now, and you can go from anyone to anyone now given what I just showed you in those two videos. All right? We'll see you in the next video.